Afghanistan the Qatar in, in fact, Armenia is the only country in the region that threatens no one. In terms of the second question regarding how to turn this into a diplomatic opportunity, we already see it happening where Armenia is being recognized as the only contributor to regional security and stability. It also strengthens Armenia's position because Azerbaijan is now clearly the only threat to regional security and stability. Interestingly, Safarov is a flashback from 1915. This makes Turkish denial of the Armenian genocide also much more relevant. In the words of President Sarkisyan, this was a hate crime, but we could also add it was a genocidal act. What I was talking about was uh, the Armenian government should reconsider and actually threaten to reconsider both ties with NATO and the EU. In other words, it's now up to the European Union to respond. We are waiting, but the test is not for Yerevan, it's for Brussels. Regarding the Eurasian Union, as some other uh, very good analysts have written, it's not very real, nor is it an alternative to the European Union. But the real lesson here is Armenia needs to understand it has to rely on its own strength and self-sufficiency, not on either the West or Russia. What's interesting about Georgia is Georgia has realized that its relationship with Azerbaijan is now a problem. In fact, for all countries, including Georgia, with relations with Azerbaijan, this is an embarrassment. The Azerbaijani government now resembles North Korea in terms of chaos and unpredictable behavior.